right, I have a little update video for you. This is 16 days post overseed of fescue. Various types of fescue. A um, couple reasons why. Um, let me just first point out my the area that caused me a whole bunch of issues because it had really bad poa damage. I ended up digging it out in the spring. Um, and this is this area here. Starting here, we go all the way across here come up here all the way through here and it kind of just veers off right there so all of that was damaged by POA um, and I actually seeded that area with RTF I've been wanting to try it um, for its spreading capabilities and I didn't want to put Kentucky bluegrass in the in the yard and mix it in with the fescue I know a lot of people do that but I just preferred not to so it was a perfect opportunity for me to try the RTF it does look like it's coming in pretty well um, there's a few spots struggling, but that's because this, it, this whole area is shaded, so it was very hard for me to determine the proper watering for it. I have a French drain right there because water comes from my neighbor's yard and goes from my yard, and <clears throat> it kind of accumulates right there in that spot that you see. And in that spot, the seed is basically getting drowned, so it's not filling in very well. But I'll figure that out all later. Everything else is looking pretty good. Um, this area here was overseeded with super seed store sun blend because this area gets over six hours of sun a day all right so now i'll take you over to the other side of the house some cool chalk art from my kids oh, ortho all right, so here's the other side. Let's go down here. The sun, the angle's not great. So if we go down here, and we see this is coming in pretty good too. I'm actually looking into, I'm getting estimates to reconfigure my irrigation because on this side, the problem is that half of the yard from here up to the lattice is, get sun over six hours. But then you start back there in the back and it's shaded like all day. But this is one zone, which makes it very difficult to water or determine the proper irrigation for this as well. It's doing well based on what I did do. Um, but I do want to reconfigure that to get a better irrigation plan going there. But this side, this front piece here was super shade. Um, sorry, super seed store sun blend. And then we can go over here to the back. Where there's the back is really giving me some problems here. This back part, I can actually see more POA right in this area. I don't know. At this point, I'm ready to just leave it alone. I'm just kind of tired of dealing with it or battling it. But this is the area that gets the shade, which is prime for POA to grow as well. So um that's just how it is and not much i can do about it but anyway that is the current progress of my overseed for the season i'm i'm you know i have spots i have some trouble and everything um i'll deal with that i'll figure that out but overall i think uh it was pretty successful so i'm hoping that in the next couple weeks things fill in a little bit more and look a little bit better but we'll see i'm about to put down more starter fert over it it's been a couple weeks so it's time and then i'm done